Starting off this countdown, we have the Secret Underground Community. Believe it or not, but there is a group of urban explorers that like to hang out in the Paris catacombs. They call themselves the Cataphiles, and they sneak into the tunnels, evade the police, and then go exploring. In fact, they have claimed a number of sections as their own, marking it with murals and graffiti. Not only that, but they have found secret ways to get into the catacombs. Plus, they've started mapping the whole place out so that other explorers don't get lost. Only problem is that this is a very dangerous hobby. Since they are entering restricted areas in the catacombs, they have to watch out for crumbling walls, falling rocks, even pools of water. I don't know about you, but I prefer to spend my time with the living and not the dead. In our number 9 spot today, we have the Barton Mansion Ghost. This video is said to come from 2001 as someone explored throughout the Barton Mansion in California. This mansion is said to be the home of a ton of sinister happenings like satanic rituals, paranormal activity, and it's said that a demon even haunts the top floor. What more could you ask for? It is said that the night before this video was taken, a group had broken into the abandoned basement and there they found a creepy configuration of stones surrounding a piece of meat, which is exactly why they came back the next day to take some videos of the place. The part of the video that I want to show you is basically a first person view as someone explores through this mansion, and it's when they spot something that none of us want to see that all hell breaks loose. Down on the floor. Right there. Oh! Oh! Jeez Louise. What did he see exactly? Well, I'm not entirely sure, but I also wouldn't have stuck around to find out. Coming in at number eight, we have Philibel Aspel. Philibel Aspel was a doorkeeper at the Val de Grace Hospital during the French Revolution. And the hotel actually had a staircase located in the courtyard that would lead to the catacombs. So one night in November of 1793, Philibel descended into the catacombs to retrieve a bottle of liquor stored down there. However, he only brought one candle with him and it was not enough to light the way. Eventually it blew out and he was down there in pitch black. Being semi intoxicated, he stumbled around the catacombs lost. For 11 years, no one knew what happened to him. That was until 1804 when his body was found. He was identified by the hospital key ring hanging from his belt. Moving on to number 7, we have the Whispering Walls. A number of explorers have claimed that no one should ever be in the Paris catacombs after midnight. For if you are, then the walls will begin to speak. People have claimed to have heard disembodied voices coming from the catacombs. These voices confuse them and try to persuade them to travel deeper and deeper into the catacombs until you're in too far that you're lost and you can't escape. Actually, fun fact, they use this as inspiration for the movie As Above So Below, which takes place in the Paris catacombs. In our sixth spot today, we have the camera system. In 2004, a group of French police explored some of the restricted areas of the Paris catacombs. And that's when they discovered something truly terrifying. First, they found a PA system that when triggered would play sounds of guard dogs barking. Then they found a full on bar, living area, workshop, lounge, and cinema with space to fit 20 people. Like what? Not only that, but whoever created this little home setup was stealing other people's electricity from above. The creepiest part is that they had a full on security camera set up and the police soon realized that they were being watched. They left to get a bigger team to further investigate the area, but by the time they got back, everything was gone. The only thing left was a note that read, don't search. We're now at our fifth and halfway mark with De Kiel. De Kiel is the name of a very mysterious man. We don't know much about him, but we do know that he was a veteran of the French army, and he was also an artist. In fact, he created a number of sculptures for the catacombs. However, this eventually led to his death. During the construction of one of his sculptures, a part of it fell and crushed him completely. It's said that to this day, his soul wanders the catacombs. In fact, people have seen him down there before. In our fourth spot today, we have the Crypt of Passions. The Crypt of Passions, located in the ossuary, is a pillar that is covered in skulls to the point that it's just completely concealed. The skulls end up forming what looks like a barrel, which is creepy for a number of reasons. Just take in, those are real skulls. You're surrounded by people who used to be living, 
and most of them died in tragic ways. And then their bones were used for an art display. A number of people who have visited this area in the catacombs have reported feeling very uneasy around the Crypt of Passion. It's believed that some of the souls that were placed there have not found peace. I mean, in some cultures, they believe that a proper burial must be done with a tomb marker or else the soul will never be able to rest or go to the afterlife. However, that was not possible at the time. The catacombs were built because grave overcrowding was a serious issue back then, among other things. In our third spot today, we have these scratch marks. There's this really creepy area in the Paris catacombs where it's just a wall of scratches. Like it looks as if bodies rose from the dead and tried to scratch their way out. It's a creepy touch to the place, that's for sure. Moving on to number two, we have the lost tape. Now I'm sure all of you have heard about this urban legend before, and in fact it also inspired the movie As Above So Below. And it might not even be a legend, it might be real, but to this day, no one knows. Once upon a time in 1990, a weird dusty camcorder was discovered in the catacombs. The camera appeared to have been there for quite some time, so they decided to inspect it. What was found on it was very disturbing. The video was of an unidentified male explorer wandering around the catacombs. While down there, we see him interacting with the skulls around him. But then something spooks the man and he ends up growing paranoid and panicked. At one point, he drops the camera and just runs away. Sadly, he never made it out alive. This tape contains the final moments of his life. And in our number one spot today, we have the criminals. In 2017, it was discovered that a group of robbers used the catacombs to break into an apartment. Basically, they figured out that the catacombs were right under an apartment vault. So they drilled their way in through the limestone and entered the apartment to steal over 300 bottles of vintage wine. In total, they valued at close to 250,000 euros. Isn't that insane? Starting off on our number 10 spot, we have the school ghost. This video is one that comes to us from 2017, and it is said to be security camera footage from a school that captures a ghost on tape. The video is under two minutes, but it's jam packed full of an angry ghost throwing things around, moving chairs, and making a bunch of loud, creepy noises. For this first clip, take a look at the chairs that are further down the hallway. a little unsettled. I bet the person who came into school to find their bag next to the trash can was probably pretty annoyed. For the final act of the ghost in this video, this ghost decided to rip a poster off of the wall. Honestly, I'm always skeptical of ghost videos, but there's something so eerie about this one, so I'll let you be the judge. In our ninth spot, we have the lost girl. In 2005, a group of teens illegally snuck into the catacombs on New Year's. Sadly, they all didn't make it out alive. They all were drinking and having a blast when one of their friends, Masha, wandered off alone. When they finally realized she had disappeared, they went out looking for her, but couldn't find her. No one knew what happened to her until four months later. That's when a group of boys were exploring the catacombs when they stumbled upon her frozen body. Since she was drunk, she wandered off to another section of the catacombs and then got lost and froze to death. How heartbreaking. In our number eight spot today, we have the house. This creepy video starts out with some people driving down a dark, lonely road, which is how all terrible things start. They pass this house that seems to be abandoned and the only one in the area, and it's nighttime with no lights, so the house is obviously dark. The people in the car as they drive by shine a light at this dark, abandoned house just to see what they can, I guess, and that is when something appears. What was that? A ghost? A demon? A real actual person? At this point, I'll probably never know, and to be honest, 
I think I'm okay with that. In our number seven spot today, we have the dark web. The people who posted this video explained that they received coordinates on the dark web. When they traveled to the coordinates, they found this tape that we're going to be talking about, as well as a collection of other things, all said to belong to a killer. I feel like this tape would have still been creepy without knowing the backstory, but it is 1,000 times creepier having those details. The video is fairly long, and while not a lot happens in it, there is certainly something sinister going on. It's basically just a video of a guy digging a hole with a shovel. We hear him in his car as he arrives at the location, we hear him digging, and you can even see him picked up an object wrapped in a black garbage bag and put it into the hole. You can't really see him. In fact, you can't see much, but there's definitely enough to know something's going on. say is I really, really hope that this video is fake. In our number six spot today, we have The Cabin. This creepy video was apparently filmed in 1988 and was found in a scary abandoned log cabin deep in the forest in Poland a few decades later. The footage shows whoever is operating the camera walking around filming the log cabin. They end up getting to an open window and are kind of focused on it and studying it when all of a sudden, out of the blue, it just snaps shut. At the same time, a paranormal sounding yell can be heard, but no one is around, and then the camera goes blank. Exactly sure what happened here, but I would have been out of the cabin as fast as I could possibly go. Like a cabin in the forest and there's yelling. Ugh. In our number five spot today, we have the summoning. This video comes from 2001 and shows a group of teenagers who are trying to summon a spirit while, of course, recording it for the camera. They start in a circle, all holding hands with their eyes closed, and one of the friends is in the center of the circle. They're trying to get the spirit to contact them through the friend that's in the middle of the circle, but things start to go awry when one of the friends holding hands in the circle collapses. <laughs> At first, his friends think that he's just playing around with them, but then he starts convulsing and everyone gets extremely freaked out. After he gets up from the floor, he's not only acting scary, but his posture has certainly changed and everyone else who is there is rightfully extremely scared. <laughs> The video shows the rest of the boys being super frightened by their now possessed friend's scary behavior, and they're trying to figure out what to do. By the end of the video, their real friend has luckily come back to them, but he doesn't remember anything that happened. In our number four spot today, we have Paraguay. This footage comes from Paraguay. It was taken on a camcorder that had some spots filmed over by other family members. The audio and the video ended up getting blended and corrupted and just left us with this footage that looks like it could be straight out of a horror movie. Because it's so messed up, I really don't know what is going on, but I'll show you some of the video so you can see what I mean. <laughs> I don't know why, but that one kid who looks like they're sitting on top of the roof really freaks me out. In our number three spot today, we have the creepy Croatia video. This video comes from Croatia and starts with just two young men, one filming and one who's in the shot. Quickly, the one who is filming sees some strange figure watching them. They don't seem freaked out at first and are honestly kind of laughing about it. Ne, opiš, Hey! <laughs> 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 
the figure quickly gets even closer to the guys and they still honestly seem unbothered even though I am basically screaming at the screen for them to run away. Check the tone up it. Totally liquid tissue. Dobar da je... Nemam pojma, daj ga... Just the way that this thing walks is enough to freak me right out. When the boys finally begin to run away, the thing continues to follow them and is now standing fully straight up. Snime se, nemoj pobjeć. Kaj radiš se, bož? Kaj radiš? Ne znam. Ej, jel si s tim redu, onak? The worst part about this disturbing video is the fact that the description says that the two men in the video haven't been seen since that day. In our number two spot today, we have Meat Sleep. Meat Sleep was a YouTube channel that uploaded extremely creepy videos that people thought were depicting some pretty horrible acts. The videos and their titles would include clues and people would spend days trying to find all the secret hidden messages in the video. One day, Meat Sleep uploaded a video that was called No More and explained that there would be no more videos and all of the other videos were deleted. Someone made a YouTube channel dedicated to re-uploading their videos and I wanted to show you guys a clip of one of them because, oh my goodness, they are so scary. Before I show the clip, just a heads up that this one is kind of flashy and almost like strobe light-like, so just please proceed with caution on this one because I want you to be safe, okay? You live here. I love you live here. I gave you a home. Now you live here. You're ungrateful. You live here. I took Do you guys see what I mean? So strange and so creepy. It turns out that 11 people from different countries were actually behind this channel, but I honestly don't know much more beyond that. In our number one spot today, we have The Barber Shop. This video comes to us from some CCTV footage that was taken from inside of a barber shop. Basically, it starts off completely normally. Someone's getting a haircut, the other employees are chilling, it's a regular day, no worries, that is, until one of the employees sees one of the capes that is laid over the chair move. This is what caused the employees to go back and look at the tape and that is when they realized all of the things that moved but that they just didn't see. For this clip, keep an eye on the cape that's blue. If you're like me, you're probably wondering when someone's gonna notice. and he had the exact same reaction I would. For this last clip, it's the creepiest one yet in my opinion. I'm not gonna tell you what to look for, I'm just gonna let you enjoy it and find it on your own. Starting off in our number 10 spot, we have video dating. Starting off our list in the creepiest way possible, we have this very strange and uncomfortable video dating recording. It is basically just a guy who is trying to make some sort of video profile for a dating service. Hi, I'm Tony. I'm 36 years of age, 5 foot 10, an entrepreneur, businessman, and part-time adventurer. But there is just something off about the video. It could be his strange demeanor, but that is honestly the most normal part of the video somehow. Some of the creepier parts are more like the cut-ins of whatever the video was recorded over top of, or the clips where you can hear women screaming in the background. The entire video is about three and a half minutes long, but throughout it, there are some insanely creepy moments that literally gave me a shiver down my spine. You know when your mind just knows that something is off? Yeah. The alarm bells are ringing. In our number 9 spot today, we have Satan's Bridge. This video comes from someone who took a video searching around a place called Satan's Bridge. It begins with someone showing a bunch of animal carcasses that have just been left around, from possible sacrifice ceremonies that may have taken place in the area. He continues to search the place and ended up recording some footage that I think does an amazing job at capturing the bad vibes that this place holds. I wish 
I could know all of the stories that this bridge holds, but I feel like it may be for the best that they remain hidden from all of us. This guy filming finds some more evidence of things that could point to satanic rituals being held, and honestly, I'm impressed that he was able to stick around exploring for so long because I would have been out of there immediately. In our number 8 spot today we have the fallen angel. This video follows two men entering some kind of a forest when they start to come across some really large feathers. They continue on their journey into the woods and follow wherever the feathers are leading them. Eventually they come across some sort of a creature that looks like a man with a wound in his back, but it's pretty difficult to see. Now here we get to the cursed, creepy, unsettling part. This man creature thing then turns his head and his eyes are illuminated by the light from the camera. This creature is meant to be a fallen angel. While this video is an actual real footage and was made by some Spanish horror film fans, it still is pretty cursed and very creepy and definitely unsettling. If I didn't know that this video was fake, I honestly probably would have believed it. In our number 7 spot today we have the chair. Everyone loves a good comfy chair. I mean one of those recliners with a cup holder and you can lean back and stretch your legs out. It's the dream. A big comfy cozy rocking chair? I'll be out in minutes. Yeah, except for when it's haunted and it just seems to rock all by itself. No thank you. This video is of a chair that is said to have been purchased, used, just a couple days prior. I hope they kept the receipt because there is no way I'd be taking a nap in this thing. I know it's like a small thing, but I mean it always starts out with something small. A rocking chair, a small sound, the flick of a light, and then suddenly chaos. In our number 6 spot today we have The Clip. This is a video that is titled Clip095.mp4 and after watching it I certainly do not want to see the other 94 clips. I honestly wish that I could explain to you guys what is going on in this video but I really truly have no idea. It is a weirdly put together VHS tape that features some strange looking people in masks, a weird thing that maybe looks like a clock and just a whole bunch of bad energy. I'll let you guys watch most of it and see what you think is happening. I don't know what the heck is going on, but I feel like I don't even want to find out. Like that random clock sort of a situation in there, I have no idea what it really all means, but it doesn't look good. In our number 5 spot today we have a Bigfoot sighting. Okay, listen. I'm a huge skeptic when it comes to paranormal things, and especially when it comes to sort of urban legends. For example, Bigfoot. I really don't believe that any such creature like Bigfoot exists, but then I see a video like this and I almost hope that I'm wrong, because if not Bigfoot, then what in the world is this? Okay, I know that wasn't exactly the clearest video, so let's take another peek, but zoomed in a bit. Yeah, the guy who captured this video explained that whatever this was, it was the largest animal or human or creature that he had ever seen. Definitely not just a large bear or anything of that sort. They also explained that despite them spending a ton of time outdoors, hiking and the like, they've never had an encounter like this before. So. What could it be? In our number 4 spot today we have the airplane haunting. This entire video is about a minute and a half long and it starts off with a guy just walking through a dark and empty plane. I'm not sure if he's looking for something or someone specifically or just, you know, scoping it out, but he gets to the back of the plane and he looks around with the flashlight but he doesn't really see anything. He then turns to make his way back to the front of the plane but then he possibly hears something or maybe just feels a creepy presence but it makes him turn around again to face the back of the plane. He continues to hold his flashlight and look toward the back of the plane before he sees this shadow creature ghost thing peek its head out from the corner. You can see it peek its head out once and the man misses it, but the second time he sure got out of there as quickly as possible. No mommy. In our number 3 spot today I have the crying ghost. This is a video that is said to have captured a ghost on tape, but this ghost is a sad ghost. They're crying. I don't know, there's something very sinister seeming about a crying ghost. Are they trying to trick you? Why are they sad if they really are? I don't know. The person filming slowly enters a dark room and sees a shadowy figure in the corner slumped over sadly. Oh 
Okay, that's creepy enough in my personal opinion, but things only get worse when they pan away from the figure for a second, and when the camera turns back, well, just watch and see. I don't know. All I'm saying is that if I saw that, I would move houses. Like, immediately. In our number two spot today, we have levitation. Okay, I'll be honest and upfront. This is a very strange video of a girl levitating in a forest. That's it. That's what the video is. This video starts off with a man and his dog walking through some kind of forest in the snow. They're playing fetch and the man throws the ball and the dog chases after it. But when the owner calls the dog back, the dog has clearly seen something else and begins running off. This is all fine and well, but when the man follows the dog to see where he's going, they come across something super strange. It is the girl levitating in the air. She's with another person and it's kind of unclear if he is the one who's levitating her or if she She's doing it by herself. I'm not exactly sure how levitation works, but when they realize that someone is watching them, she quickly returns to the ground and they both run off. I know the clip is really grainy and hard to see, but there is definitely something weird going on there. In our number one spot today, we have the hotel ghost. This video is one that is a little bit older, but man is it freaky, and it's one that went viral pretty quickly after it was posted to the internet, and I totally understand why. This footage is from a hotel security camera from September 14th, 2003. And the audio is the hotel security's radio feed. The video starts off with the security guard being sent up to check on room 209 because there's no one checked into the room, but there are reports of screaming coming from the room. Never a good sign. John, you copy? It's room 209. Amy says no one's checked into that room. Uh, and there's reports of screaming coming from that room. The security guard, John, gets to the room and we can clearly hear screaming coming from the room and it is obviously scaring John. to knock on the door and potentially enter before he's instructed not to and to wait for the police just in case anything terrible is going on in the room but John decides not to wait in case there's anyone who needs his help and he ends up entering the room sure if you guys caught that, but after John enters the room, you can literally see a ghost float out of the room past him. The light outside of the room flickers, and then a few seconds later, John comes back out of the room, and we can all breathe a sigh of relief that he is fine. John, however, has some unsettling news for us. He says that no one is in the room, but the shower was turned on, and all of the furniture had been turned upside down, and the carpet was all ripped up. It is very unclear what went on in this hotel room, but whatever it is, it couldn't have been good. Mm -hmm. 